And we went all the way through actually page 21. So um, you can go and review that. We're going to start now with page 22. And what that is virtual positioning or what they call also absolute check. So what, where, where you do that is you are going to go into your um, hoop area. And right down here is your virtual um, checking. And so when you've hooped a design and you've got it, let's say on a shirt, and you want to make sure that it's in that right, right where you want it to stitch out, you can go and you can find out where each point is on, on this and where it's let, setting up on your... Um, Okay. There we go. No. Yeah, it moved. Went to that one. Okay. Oh, All right. Why isn't it working here? Like that. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh, yeah. Is your grit touch it twice? You have to touch it twice. Not let me go up there. Hmm. That's the center. Yeah. When all else fails. Yeah, <coughs> read the, read the directions. directions. <laughs> um, the Touch virtual... any point. The needle will move to the location. We were touching the point. It won't move there. <laughs> it also is showing, okay, that's why, get here, let's get out of there, leave the hoop on. Okay, so now, there we go. You should be able to go in and see where it's going to. So you wanna see where that little circle is? And you can zoom, go ahead and zoom in so that you can, and you can do that up to 5%. So I can pinpoint this because remember, this grid line is set up to the grid line of your We need to templates. recalibrate this screen. <laughs> so you can get, you can really get in there and see. So if, if this is on, um, there. So you can, with your with your um, template, your plastic templates that we showed you last week, you can go in and, and literally get that set up to right where you would want this all stitched up. Mm -hmm. So with that. And we're ready zoomed in. You can yep. see the little yeah, red box can, going around what we're zoomed into. Yeah. So this is, I mean, it's going to be bigger, but you're seeing it as, you know, so that you can position go back out and then my little red box goes away when I get all the way out so again in the big book of embroidery there's more about this that will take you and, and really step you you know help you through it some of these things is things that you're not going to probably use a lot yeah but, but it's nice to but know they're, they're there. there and um I yeah, don't and think I I probably have never used this. I don't think I have either. You know, and in all of the embroidery that I've done, I've never used it. This is when you're positioning stuff on clothing or, yeah. you know, and then you could, you want to get in there and really get it right where you want it. Yeah. That's when you do this. So, all right. So let's go ahead and go to page. Um, we're going to go, we're in this, we have our design. We have it set up that so that it stitches here. Well, actually, we don't anymore because we centered it, remember? Oh, that's right. 
All right. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. All right. We're going to go back here. Let's go back into the hoop and we'll take that off and we can take that off. Okay. Now we want to close out of here because we're going, now we're going to be starting to go into the actual sewing motifs. Um, you're going to, when you want to go into sewing, now right here, well, no, we're going to stick with the book. We're going to go to, to the needle. All right. Now on here, and because of the design. It's a single color design. It's a single color design. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, it's, it's only going to stitch one color. If we had multiple designs, well, let's here. go back and get a multiple. Yeah. Just get uh, that looks like that ought to be. Let's do that. Okay. There. Okay. So here you can go changing to a single single color design. If I touch this, it's only going to do one um, color, and it's not going to stop in between. If I don't have this touched what what it will do do you see how there's two colors mm -hmm. okay so if i touch this go back it's going to stitch that and it will it will bypass it this and it will keep sewing mm -hmm. so that you don't have to um cut threads or anything like that and so that's what the single color embroidery will do okay now see. let's go down get something a little more There, let's do that. There, we'll okay. make that. Okay. Now we're gonna go down to, on page 23 at the bottom, adding a basting box. Well, why do I need to add a basting box? And so you wanna go into your needle. Right here. Uh-huh. What the basting box, and I, I like a basting box. I, it, what it does is it's gonna do a basting box all around the area that I'm stitching which stabilizes this fabric. Mm -hmm. It helps it not shift and, and do some puckering mm -hmm. with you. It, it doesn't ultimately stop puckering because that has to do with stabilizers. Right. But it does get your, your design to stitch down and, and kind of hold it in place. Your fabric is being held in place. So you're, you would go ahead and you would highlight that also, what you can notice that this is not highlighted. This is one. We have one color. That's there's there's no other. Well, there's there's the one color. Your basting. Do you box see what one. it says? It says basting box because I already had highlighted that in there. So um, you're going to that will be there when you're doing this. Is I had to learn this. Too, is when you're doing when you put a basting box around it changes the the um sequence because now oh, sure. number one, one becomes right. basting box then number two mm -hmm. so in your design your patterns your designs that you get number one <clears throat> will become number two sure. because it has changed that sequence all right um all right so that's on there we're, sp we're supposed to be on a particular design i they, i don't it, know how you get to it we don't have it oh well then okay yeah, <laughs> we don't have it i don't okay. know what you know that's false. i wonder we don't have that one yeah here we'll make the tree well i'm just looking at these other exercises that they want us to do different things like uh, thread cutting and whatever. If we have a single color design, we're gonna have right, trouble you with can't that. Do it. So, so let's go do something that doesn't have like a ton of stitching in it, but at least has two colors. How about uh, how about the heart? Does it have two? Co that has yeah, two colors. That has two colors. There you go. That's what we'll do. And it's only twenty five minutes. So. There you go. All right. So stitching a design. Page um, twenty four. You're on page twenty four. And what it's talking to you about is that it's going to have, go ahead and highlight. 
All right, do you see, that is saying that it's going to cut between your colors. Your mm -hmm. thread will cut mm -hmm. between the colors. You have, right now, it's highlighted the yellow. Mm -hmm. You're going to be stitching out the yellow because we did not put a basting box in here. Mm -hmm. If we had put a basting box, the color yellow would be number, actually number two. Right. Um, and so now if I wanted to, let's look at what the next color will be. It'll, I can move here. Gold. Now, oh, we have more than three colors. Yeah. So now the, this is the area that's going to stitch out on that color. And then it's going to do this outline around. So it's a, it's, you can move through these designs to what you really, what you, if I needed to move through mm -hmm. quickly. So when I made that mistake with the, with that one design that I was doing, I had to, I had to get back to where, with that design that I was at. And I had to move back this way through by pushing these to get where I needed mm -hmm. to be. Okay, um, so that is, we're going to stitch. Now, if you look on here, we have oh, a flag. I'm gonna change my mind again. That's 31 minutes. That's, thir wow. Don't we have something that's not that many no, minutes? No, probably not. I'll go into a different Try folder. That. Four minutes. Okay, there you are. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, if you also look at stitching a design, you'll see that next to that, your emblem here, you have a flag. Mm -hmm. What that flag means is that your design has finished. Mm -hmm. Now that is only on the 790, 880, and probably 590. Yes. Um, it is not, that flag does not appear when your design is done. It doesn't appear on the 700? On this, it might on 700, yeah. yeah. But it doesn't on the 770 in that. Okay. So you're, you're just, you're done mm -hmm. when, when you're done. All right, now let's go to 25. Okay. Sequencing control. Okay, we need to go in here again. Okay. So let's say I was on here, um, my thread broke. Somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle. What I can do is hit, touch that. Go ahead and touch that little squiggly this thing. This guy, yep. Yep. with a little X on it. Now, your, your control knobs is what's going to move you forward or move you backwards. Mm -hmm. If I want to go, um, if I want to go backwards, like one, one or two, sti five stitches, I think it, there's a, it's, ten. it goes up to 10. <clears throat> I can take this and I can move it backwards and I can go step by step. Mm -hmm. Now, right now, so let's say my thread broke there then I can, I would probably bypass that a little bit and start over and then go and start over continuing it. it. Mm -hmm. That way, that moves this way and it's gonna move it one to 10 stitches. If I want to move it forwards, cause this going to the left moves it backwards. backwards. If I wanted, if I need to move it forwards in the design, then I need to, you turn it to the right. Mm -hmm. If I'm doing the same thing is on this, so this knob is going to move it one to 10 stitches at a time. Mm -hmm. This knob will move it up to 100 stitches. A lot of stitches. And so if I want to move it again, if I want my design and I need to back up on it, I can, you see how I, it will, it well, moves a lot. <laughs> yeah. So if I want to, um, go forwards, then I can do this and move it, okay? So we are going to go ahead and touch this, touch your needle again, and that'll take you out of there. So let's say I, uh, I moved it too much. So I can go back here and I can go right back to one and get right where I needed to be mm -hmm. on, you know, if I moved it forward too much. So I can move through this any at back and forth mm -hmm. and it, you're not gonna lose your place. All right, sequence control. And that's that little guy right there. 
So it's just a matter of remembering that if I move it to the left, either knob, if I turn it to the left, it's going to take it backwards. If I move it to the, turn it to the right, it's going to take it forwards. By the way, that little number right there uh -huh. is the number of stitches in this stitch out. Yeah. And if we were in here and you wanted to go to stitch number 1100, you can do it that way do too. That too. Yeah. So a lot of times when, if, if my design was, if it broke, look at that that tells number. you right where it broke yep and you'll mm -hmm. know right where it broke and and so you can go in there and do it that's the easy way really mm -hmm. to do it okay all right so that's it i'm um, stitching out a design that's your um sequence control let's go to page um we've we've already talked about pinpoint, we did pinpoint placement. placement okay so 26 is pinpoint placement. This gives you a little bit more overview of the pinpoint placement. So go ahead and read that. That's on page 26. Then um, we talked about last time, we talked about the thread up command. Mm -hmm. In the and, settings. In the settings, mm -hmm. uh-huh. We set that up. So your thread up designs are the needle so I can push this needle mm -hmm. and bring my, my thread up, mm -hmm. or I can push it again and it'll bring my thread down, mm -hmm. well, either way. So if I needed to get my th thread up to the top or, or I wanted my needle in the down manually. position, you, you to can do it, do it manually, it manually. Mm -hmm. right. Mm -hmm. So that's that, that's on page 27. So on that thread up command, like it says here, if you wish to bring the bobbin thread to the top to secure it, mm -hmm. that would be much like when we quilt. Yeah. We we use our buttons to push- Free motion the, quilting, yeah, yeah. Manually bring that thread up to the top. Yeah. All right, so let's go into, now we're gonna go into kind of the lettering. Oh, okay. So on page 28, we're going to hit, now did you see how Lisa got back to there? Let's go to the machine. <laughs> and then she went right into her lettering and picked that folder. You have multiple um, lettering choices here. So you can do, you can have up and down, you have scrolling, scroll letters up and down, left and right. And this of course is a 790, so we mm -hmm. have even more. Yeah. There's Options. a lot of choices on the 790. Yep. Nice. Yep. Okay, so let's just go, do you wanna go there? Okay, so let's type out Bernina. Now that brought that in. Oh, it looks like a little Japanese. Japanese. Japanese That's Bernina. Cute. I like that. I like that. Um, so we are, that's exactly what it, right here. Now you can go in, it's telling you how to change your lettering size. So go into your eye. All right. And you're going to go to resize. Oops. And now you can resize it. So go ahead and play and let's see what we, We're gonna now keep it in that. Now remember um, our stitch density. There. So, um, oops, I'm at 121. There, 120. So now she did it manually, but if I had taken this and had that centered and just did one, it it's going both. to do it both at the same time. Mm -hmm. So let's, let's just, let's go back and hit that. Now go. Oops, too hard. There you go. Do you see how just one did it? Mm -hmm. um, so when you when you don't want both of them, that's when you would un highlight this, and then you could do either one. Mm -hmm. All right. So that's that's all there is. Now remember, maintaining is on um, keeping it at one hundred and twenty, mm -hmm. not anymore. Right. All right. Now we're going to get to the word art, and we're going to change the spacing. 
Remember that this is only on the 7, 790, 880, 700, and 500. So let's go back into the RI and let's go down to lettering. Now we can, um, what? yeah, okay. I didn't see which one you hit. That okay. one. <laughs> that one. So it's, it's, I can, I can move this so that it, um, it's going to do a circle. We mm -hmm. can do all kinds of stuff in that. So let's go ahead and, um, it says turning the knob to the left decreases the spacing. So Turn you guys, the... this is the time we're not stitching anything. Yeah. We're just playing. This is the time when you get in there and start messing with the buttons. Just play yeah, with it, yeah. adjust it, make it, make all the yellow things happen. Do what you want to do. Oh, wait, right there. Go ahead and do that right there. That's saying that you're outside of the hoop. So that's when you would go in and resize to get it. Or, or you could, you could rotate, rotate it. Now it'll fit in there. Oops. So yeah, you have to play with this so that you're not afraid of it. Yeah. Touch the yellow one. Okay. Ooh. Look at there. <laughs> now you could go in and you could touch here. Or I could I could go like back. Yeah. Or about like that. Now go touch that plus sign. And now go back, go back to your butterfly. Where's your butterfly? There, yeah, go into there. Now you could pick out a little design. Mm, that's small. <clears throat> Maybe that? No, that's no, not small. Too big. <laughs> but okay, touch that. Now let's go to resize that. Okay, that's gonna stitch too dense, but right. But we can, but we could go up a little bit bigger. Now bring it down. And remember, and we're in the in the move that up. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. And then we should probably really take it to the follow the rule. There. Okay. Now we're going to hit the bottom to, so that we combine them. Now they're they're combined. Now they would it would stitch out. Mm -hmm. So see how we? I mean that that's easy. You can't that was get, way easy. You know. So it's like what you said. Get in there and play Just in play this editing. It. You can't hurt it. I mean, if you get in here and it's all wrong, and you're like, oh no, it's all wrong. C clear out just clear. leave yeah, yeah. <laughs> leave and come back <laughs> so if i want to clear that out that's kind of neat though yeah it's kind of neat um well we should stitch that out okay um if we wanted to clear it out we would just go and touch which one go in here and touch that one and i could go into my eye and and i trash just, can it i trash can it mm -hmm. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go there and, and combine it again. Okay. Fun. Fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. it? It's a lot of fun. So there's a lot of different, more information on 29 about word art. I don't, we, because there's a lot of people that doesn't have, <laughs> have this. It, yeah. um, again, I will put in a thing there is that with software, you can do this. Oh, you this. can do anything. Even if you only have a 770 or a 570. Mm -hmm. Plus with the big book of embroidery, it'll walk you through it will. how to do all this stuff. Absolutely step by step yep. on top of everything yep. else. So, so I suggest read this and you, you know, and, and get in there and do exactly what it's telling you to do. Mm -hmm. And you'll, you'll learn this. All right. So let's go into page 30, saving a design. We are going to close out of our I button 
and we are going to go to our folder and go in here, mm -hmm. right up here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, there, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking for the heart. This is the put her in her folder. Put her in her folder. That's the take her out her folder. Right. <laughs> We're gonna put her in her. <laughs> okay, now it's saying, do you want to save, save that? It. I yep, say yes. save it. And there it's saved. Now, if you when you go into do your that, save, I will come in here, and now I will go to the take her out her folder, and my heart. Heart. And there it there is. There it is. That's how easy. I mean, you can't get. I, do you? And it'll that, tell you right here that how much memory I just used in my percent. favorites folder. Yeah, so you can save quite a few designs in there. Do you remember how hard it was? I can remember different sewing machines that I've had over the years, and you had to have a master's degree yeah. to save <laughs> things, but not, not with here. this. Uh -uh. So, so that's how easy it is. What would happen if I said, "I don't want that yellow line." Go down to your trash. Pick no, that's not the one you want. No, I want the just, other one. Yeah. Okay. I don't think that's what I wanted to do. Okay, I want to go back out of here. I want to go here. Right. Then here. Now, now touch that. I want this, and I want I, and I want trash. Now a little yes. Trash. Now I got nothing in there. If I go back, my folder, take her out, and it's still in there. Why is it in because there? it's the machine? The machine has oh factory. It's a factory thing. Okay. Uh -huh. So there, there it is. So you can now go ahead and touch that because we now what's back in our thing. Now we can touch here, and there it is. Okay. Okay. So that's saving and deleting designs. Um, changing color. Um, we didn't talk about, let's finish this one up before changing color. Let's finish it, saving a design to a USB stick. Oh, so okay. what if I didn't want to save that on this? Okay. What if I didn't want to save it in here? What if I wanted to save it to there? You insert the USB into your machine. Oop. Okay. Right on the side and then select the motif to be saved, outlined in yellow. Mm -hmm. And then the embroidery motif is saved to the USB. There you go, easy peasy. Yep. Okay. And then we talked about deleting and or retrieving. We've done both of those. Yeah. So, so, so you can say, so if, if we wanted save. to not save this on the machine, but save it on a USB stick instead, we could do that. Yeah. So we could have it on our, uh, the theme maneuver right here and we could go in here and we could say we're going to put it in our thing and except for that thing we will put it in our USB right. instead. And it will show up. Yep. That USB will show up. Yeah. Because we don't have a USB yep. stick in right now. Okay. We're going to finish that one off. We're finishing page 30 right now. Page 30. We will start up for uh, session five. Right. We'll start right. with changing yeah. thread color next time. Um, session five. So we're about, we're getting, we're, we're getting, I mean, you've got a lot of this stuff is on going into the 790s. Yeah. We'll and probably have two more to go through everything. Yeah. Probably have two more before we get through everything that's in here. Uh, but hopefully this is helpful to you guys. So we will see you All next right. time for session five. Bye. Bye.